In the class video, I mentioned there are two sections to our online work. The first is class, that's what we do virtually together. The second is called app. App stands for at personal pace. It's the work that you can do on your own or with a small group because there's a lot that you're going to be able to do and should do outside of the class time. App allows you to take control of your own learning. You get to be responsible for how you learn and practice and when you learn and practice. If you're a night owl and do your best work late in the evening, you can do that. If you like to do work as soon as it's available, you can do that as well. If you like to work ahead, that's possible too. The class time is set in location and time, but app can be done wherever and whenever you want. There are three pieces to app, instruction, practice, and assessments. Let's take instruction first. There will be some instruction in the virtual class time, but a lot of it can be done outside of the class as well. Everything will be made available through videos like these. So you can watch these beforehand, before you get to the class. You can watch them after the class uh, to remind yourself of things. And we will watch them often in class so that we can discuss them. Next is practice. There will be multiple ways to practice your learning in this course. Through Word documents, practice problems, different websites, videos, there will be a lot of different ways. I mean, and I'll suggest a lot if you would like to work more, and much of it you can do on your own, or at least at your own pace. Third is assessments. There will be sometimes online exams or paper and pencil assessments that you can take, and sometimes it will be projects. Some assessments will be short just to see how you're learning, and others will be at the end of unit a little bit longer to see what you've learned. Either way, many of them you'll be able to do on your own and at your own pace. We'll do some assessments in class together, but a lot of them will be app. One, don't let the convenience of app become laziness. It's great that you can work at your own pace, but if you're not planned and organized to get things done, then you probably won't. Second, don't let app keep you from getting things done in a timely manner. You have the ability to do things at your own pace, but if you don't have a schedule of some sort, or you don't have the intention to do things as soon as they're assigned, then things can easily slip by. So you might ask a friend, a teacher, uh, a parent, or myself to help you figure out how to make a schedule so that you can get your work done. Don't let the freedom of app keep you from learning. And lastly, don't let the personal part of app mean alone. It is at your own pace or at your personal pace, but it's not completely on your own. And you don't have to go about this alone. You can ask questions of me and others. You can work with other friends or a small group. Maybe your parents even want to help you. You should reach out to others. Don't go at this alone. I hope we can all find app to be helpful, but if at any point you find yourself struggling with the personal part or see yourself that you're not getting things done, just reach out. We can figure this out together. No, it's, it's not a real app. It's not, it's just called app. It's, what? No, it's not something you can download onto your phone. I don't think this is misleading at all. If you watch the video, it makes sense. I, I, I don't know. I, if people are going to download it, search for it in the App Store, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. Hey, it's not going to be there. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I just like acronyms. I just like acronyms, okay? Why wouldn't you have brought this up prior to making the video? Okay, you know what? Just cut. Just cut.